Thanks to Sennheiser for sponsoring our NAB 2017 coverage. Learn more about the MKE2 Elements GoPro microphone and their other audio for video products at the link in the video description. Sony has really put their stamp on the camera market over the last few years, recently overtaking Nikon in overall full-frame camera market sales in the US. To continue this momentum, Sony has announced the A9, their newest stills camera that looks to please photographers looking for a properly pro body in a mirrorless form factor. The A9 sports a 24 megapixel full frame sensor that uses their new stacked CMOS sensor technology. The new stacked sensor gives the A9 data processing speeds that are 20 times faster than any previous Sony full frame camera. In the real world, this amounts to the A9 being able to shoot an impressive 20 frames per second with a buffer of up to 241 RAW images or 362 JPEGs. Sony is clearly targeting action sports and wildlife photographers with specs like that, going up against Canon's 1DX Mark II and Nikon's D5, the high-end staples of that market. Rounding out the specs, the A9 has 693 phase detection autofocus points that cover 93% of the sensor's frame, a 3.68 million dot OLED EVF that can run at a brisk 120 frames per second, Sony's 5-axis in-body stabilization, 4K video recording oversampled from a 6K readout, dual SD card slots, and improved battery life with their new 2280 mAh rechargeable batteries. I was impressed with Sony's blackout-free displays on the camera while also claiming distortion-free silent shooting with the electronic shutter, which allows a shutter speed of up to 1 32,000th of a second. For the first time in Sony's lineup, it looks like using the electronic shutter for its silent operation is a viable way to shoot with this camera most of the time, allowing shooting anywhere where the sound of a mechanical shutter could ruin the moment you are trying to photograph. Golf, weddings, or wildlife, for example. While Sony has included 4K video support like in the A7R2, it's a bit disappointing to see that they have yet to include a log profile in the A9, which would have rounded out the camera's video features very nicely. Since the new stacked sensor should perform much better in terms of rolling shutter, and the 24 megapixel sensor also makes this a very compelling hybrid stills and video camera on paper. Sony is likely saving the more video-focused approach for their next entry in the A7 series of cameras. Overall, the A9 looks to be very well placed in the market to take on Canon and Nikon's offerings, and at $4,500 it is by no means a cheap camera, but for its target market it does come in $1,500 cheaper than its competition. So thank you guys for watching, let me know what you think of Sony's A9 in the comments down below, and thanks again to Sennheiser for sponsoring our coverage of NAB 2017. Check out the MKE2 Elements GoPro mic and the rest of their audio lineup which you can learn more about at the link in the video description.